your microwave smells burned it's probably coming from right here where the magnetic high voltage relay is at I don't know nothing about microwaves I just know I didn't want to spend another hundred and twenty dollars so I took the top off and saw that it was burned right here so if you smell burning coming from your microwave it's way too easy to repair it I'll show you what the repair looks like in the end alright so all I'm using is just pliers wire cutters and a screwdriver let's go ahead and cut this you don't even got to remember anything about it all you know is you just got to cut it replacing the piece with one of these so all I got to do is use the wire cutters to strip it Alright, so I finally got stripped it, got both of them stripped, I'm just going to put them in another plug like this. Alright, so again, like I said, I don't know nothing about microwaves, so I, I made sure the wires went through the plug, so this way I know it went through and it's good. Then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the pliers and crimp it down. Alright, now that it's crimped down, I know it's crushed pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it back on. Alright, and then I'm going to plug everything back up that I took apart. Now, a quick trick to when you're messing with stuff like this, it's recommended that you take a photo of what it looks like before you take it apart. So if you forget, you can refer back to your photo so you don't mess anything up. Alright, then now it's just time to go ahead and put the lid back on. And this microwave is fixed. Okay, so I went ahead, got it put all back together. Did a quick test run for about a minute. It didn't stink, it didn't smell burnt. This was the culprit. And uh, I was able to repair it. Like I showed you with one of these. But uh, you don't have to go and buy a kit like this. Uh, you can just probably buy the little piece you need from like AutoZone or Walmart for like $2. I just bought this like 10 years ago and it's been lying around, finally got used. So, one thing I didn't mention, I went ahead and I ripped off the plastic on it so it wouldn't melt like this one because I think it was just getting too hot and that's why it started smelling burnt like that, it was melting the plastic. So I ripped off the plastic from it and just left the metal exposed. So this way, if it got really hot, it wouldn't melt plastic, I wouldn't be doing this a second time. But uh, we'll see how long this lasts and if it only lasts three months, that's enough to save up another $100 to buy a new microwave.